Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet by clicking subscribe below and you can click on the little bell so you get videos every week. And for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Charlotte. I am a medium channel. So I share messages in direct that I channel from the spirit guides. So we're gonna see what is coming. Um, please remember, I don't know, everything just takes what resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, that means that message is not for you. And also remember, this is timeless. So if you see this video in a couple months or a couple years, that just means that you're going to the same energy right now and there's a message for you in there. Um, I also wanted to say thank you for all our new subscribers and thank you also for all the subscribers that are following the channel since the beginning. Thank you so much for being here and supporting the channel. And I also wanted to say Happy Easter to all of you. I really wish you a really good Sunday, a really good weekend, and a really good week next week. So Happy Easter to all of you. Uh, now I'm going to center myself and we're going to see the message that are here for us. Okay, so we are still a lot in those chaotic energies that we've talked about a couple of weeks ago. This is still going on a lot of, of very like um, chaotic energy, a lot of movement on the inside, inside of us as far as the emotions. A lot of, of movement is happening and it's normal, it's making us move on the inside. It's really making us move as far as our emotion, our old belief, our old fear, etc. So there could be a lot of, of frictions, a little bit of opposing force happening in in your surroundings in people around you that can really piss you off they can really be very aggressive or really challenging uh, bringing up things that you're very afraid of and you kind of feel like you're losing control over that and it's just happening and it's all exploding in your face uh, if this is what is happening for you right now just know it's normal it's part of those energies that are really shaking things up so you can really release those old chains and release those old fear and remove those old blocks uh, it is very necessary to advance and to be able to grow and move forward and evolve your consciousness it's really like a, a really very important step in your evolution and this is actually uh, impacting a lot of people on a very global large scale uh, so this is a very important phase to pass over uh, just know to use it to your advantage kind of like if you have that huge wave that's coming and you're taking your surfboard to surf on the wave and move forward and use that energy to move forward uh, this is the image they're sending me and it's very important for you to do that instead of just uh, draining yourself in the wave okay so it's very important to take lesson of what is happening and really grow from there just ask yourself okay what is happening okay I learned from it what did I learn I learned that okay I got it now I can move forward I can grow it's very important if you're not growing from those negative negative it's not negative but it's very challenging uh, situation that are happening you just you know it's not it's not gonna help you move you're just gonna sit there and it's gonna be a stagnant uh, you can be a stagnant person it's gonna be a stagnant energy kind of like locked into four walls kind of thing okay so really really take a step back and see what you can learn from all those experience happening right now a lot of people have been gone through very 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 hard um sorry i'm laughing because the energy has been very difficult for a lot of people this week uh, and some people are going to go through that next week so just just know to keep a little bit of of lightness in your heart toward that just be a little bit light-hearted about it and just be able to laugh about it see it with an outside look kind of like it's a comedy because it is so much and it's so much why because it's putting all that pressure it's like a, a, a a pressure water hose that's really a water pressure that's pushing things out of your way and it's pushing things out which is those old blocks that were really blocking you and holding you back this is extremely important for advancement uh, they're very insisting on that so 
yeah, make sure you take a step back and see what is going on. Also, uh, forgiveness is very important as they're saying to forgive yourself and forgive other for hurting you or being aggressive or being challenging in the past few days because this is all energy you had in you that's coming back at you. It's kind of like a boomerang, uh, the images of a boomerang and it's all sent out and that energy is coming right back at you. So what is happening to you right now are energies that you have created uh, and it could have been weeks ago, it could have been a few days ago, but it could have been years ago or even in a past life and it's all kind of coming back at us right now to be released. Uh, it's releasing our self from all chain. Uh, it's a difficult passage but it's very necessary and important for our evolution and it's a very big gift to be able to release all those all chain very quickly. Um, this is why it's it's so heavy right now and it can be so challenging as far as the energy for a lot of people. Um, they're also saying that be careful also a lot of fear you've projected in the past are gonna kind of come back at you and you're gonna have to you're gonna be forced to face them so you can release those fear as well uh, they were all illusion and it was based on nothing um and and yeah it was not rooted but it needs to be released so it can go away it's it's very important process and it's important to be aware of that because a lot of people are going to be what is happening to my life right now everything is is difficult i'm getting those people yelling or aggressive and having all those horrible things happening and you don't want to happen etc etc it's necessary for you to release it and see there is nothing to be worried about and all those fear were based on nothing um yeah Okay, so you're saying a lot of people are having the third eye opening right now, here, right here. They can have a lot of migraine or very strong pressure point here. Uh, just know this is your third eye is being worked on, it's been opening. Uh, you're gonna have a lot more of intuition uh, gonna be developed. You're gonna have a lot more of dreams, um, premonitory dreams, um, flash about things that are gonna happen, uh, very strong intuition, so just know that that and start to learn to follow more your intuitions um, and your inner guidance is going to be very important for some people just be patient with yourself it doesn't happen uh, from one night to another it doesn't happen in one day okay it's something you just have to develop little by little a little bit every day and really grow from there uh, but it's going to be a beautiful thing happening it's going to be very helpful in your life and that will talk to certain people on this video Okay, so they're saying also that it's very important right now to let go, let go of all those things that you are holding back on. There's a lot of control for a lot of people that were still uh, very controlling, controlling situation, controlling people, a lot of control. Know that the control is based on fear uh, and it was not helpful for you to stay in that kind of pattern. Now it's very important to let go and trust yourself be more confident and know that you're safe when you do that and you can let go. You know, a lot of things that you're gonna try to control are gonna right, come right back at you and you're gonna really have that feeling of losing control anyways because that's the universe really pushing you to, to start yeah to start really losing your control by letting go and letting things happen and have peace about it so you're not freaking out you're not in fear mode uh the fear mode is going away a lot of the old free things are starting to dissolve and go away uh, there's a lot of of um uh yeah so there's a lot of of what we were used to is just going away and it's kind of like that person is kind of holding themselves um, to a pillar and that pillar is dissolving and moving away and then it's like they don't know what to hold themselves to um, anymore and it, that's what is happening right now it's it's basically the old world all your old belief and what you were used to etc is going away and it's being dissolved and it's showing itself as, as illusion 
and it's not holding itself anymore it's just going away and then the new world is not here yet so what's happening is that you kind of have that situation where you're not really sure where you are you're kind of in between those two things um, and you don't have anything to hold yourself on and it's just very very disturbing for some people just know this is a normal phase um, and just have trust in yourself just have faith and that's also teaching you to let go and so you don't have any control or anything because it's nothing really to hold yourself onto. Um, so that's a very, very good thing they are saying to you, a few people watching this video. Actually, it's going to concern a lot more people um, in the next few months uh, as far as their evolution grow. Okay, so they're saying um, also the ego is being very worked on right now. There's a lot of work made on the ego part of ourselves. A lot of people just want to almost cut themselves in half and throw their ego uh, in the trash can and get removed of it. Um, it's just no, it's not possible. It's part of you. It's not going anywhere. A lot of people are seeing it very, very negatively. Just know when you do that, it's seeing a part of you very negatively and it's going to impact to yourself negatively as well also a lot of people are trying to ignore it or reject it and pushing it away uh, just know that when you do that it's um, making it bigger and stronger and more angry in the matter where it will come back to you stronger and stronger until you actually look at it acknowledge it say okay I see you I understand and send in love and then it will actually um, take back its place but it's very important to know that because a lot of people are really wanting to get rid of it in they really getting mad at themselves um, and it's kind of like you cannot remove it again it's part of you you have to learn to live with it and send love and love yourself and love all those part of you love your shadow part love your weaknesses what you call your weaknesses or you see as weaknesses even though they are not but just learn to really know that and love that and all of you so you can really have that whole 360 degrees kind of thing uh, it's very important also like they say some people that really very 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 strict with themselves and they want to almost cut themselves in half to remove that ego part or the shadow part um, they're saying it's like if you're cutting your leg off or you're gonna cut your left arm off because you only use your right arm for example they're saying that is not the way to do it again it's a part of you you have to learn to love it and understand it uh, the more you're gonna listen to it and understand it and send it love and say you know when it, it's freaking out and coming back to the surface just say no it's okay it's okay I understand but it's okay and then you can move forward um, that's gonna be very important to your evolution yeah because it's extremely worked on right now and this is gonna manifest a lot in your outside world so a lot of your ego parts your your, your ego um, shadows that's what I hear are gonna manifest really uh, by being projected on other people that could be people in your family or people that you work with and it's gonna be like a projection of it okay so it's gonna be very important for you to see it like that so you you have that opportunity to see it with an outside look so you can understand better and really bring it back to yourself okay and also it's very important to understand um, other people be tolerant a lot of tolerance understanding is going to be very important right now because like we said there's going to be a lot of distension in point of view in what people believe in these people that are for this people that are against that people that believe in this people that believe in that and what it's doing is recreating those two different groups and um, we've talked about that I've made a video about it six months ago or so and, and it was showing those two kind of groups that are being created but just know that that's an illusion again because that's part of the 3D world which is all about you know good or bad and and the one phase of of the coin and the user phase of the coin etc 
So it is very important to understand that that dual world is going away as part of, of that thing that's dissolving. Um, so when we think we're against something, we're still in the dual world, we're still in the 3D world, okay? Once you start understanding that it's a whole, everything is a whole, then it makes more sense. Um, it's like people are still saying, okay, well, well, this person is is hurting me and or this person is a victim and then you understand the person hurting is a victim and the victim is a person hurting all at the same it's going to start creating that hole and the energy is going back up um this is going to be very abstract for some people a few people though in this message going to know exactly what we're talking about others it will it will it will come to them like in much longer time is they're not ready for it but anyways this is really where we're going to and so understand that that part like those two group are illusion and that whole part is creating that whole okay that whole energy is being reunited because it's all one no matter what so this is really where we're going to and they're really saying that no matter the differences no matter the different opinion different point of view still unite forces okay understand each other understand each point of view and it's not just 50 50 okay this is, it's half and half it's going to be an understanding at 360 degrees okay it's going to be that whole circle that whole global view and it's a, a whole global view like uh the guys the spirit guys have on us okay it's it's knowing more than the eyes can see it's seeing everything from the time difference and everything that we don't know or see with our own eyes we don't have that full understanding they have that full understanding so what they're saying is for us to start developing that full understanding uh that's where we're going towards so we can really remove ourselves from that 3d vision um this is what we developing more and more uh and some people are already doing that uh they already felt that energy and and that's that's a wonderful thing it's going to develop more and more let me see what else Yeah, as he's saying, also have your own opinion, find your own power is very important. A lot of people are listening a lot all around what, what, what their neighbors say, what their family say, what the, the TV say, what they hear on the radio. And they just accumulate everybody point of view like a puzzle, but they're not making their own point of view. They're not making their own decision. Uh, as he's saying, it's very important you go back to that inner power and decide what's right for you you know make choices for yourself know where you are know your position uh be able to say no to certain things a lot of people are still into pleasing a lot saying yes to everything saying yes to everything and everyone and they're just trying to please to please to please because they they have that fear okay it's connected to a fear so just know that be aware of that um for the people that are concerned and be able to make your own decision step up for yourself be able to say no to stand for what you believe in and just uh, be able to do that um now just know that that's very different to when we say letting go because some people are going to get confused about that and they're saying that it's very different to that okay when you let go is that you're not trying to control everything because of fear okay you just confident and you have faith and you let things go because no matter what you know where you stand and you know where you are you're not trying to manipulate that's what i hear you're not trying to control the outside to feel at peace in yourself you feel at peace in yourself already so then you can let the outside do their things as well uh, this is very important to know the difference um, because some people are making like the same like it's a connection thing and the thing letting go is actually saying yes to everything and and everyone etc just it's it's not that at all okay so just make sure you understand the difference yeah so they're saying to really be very patient for my now there's a lot of people that are very impatient uh they're saying okay i, I did all that healing 
<laughs> that healing work, that healing process on myself. I did all of this and, and really I moved on to my old belief. I healed all that past, those fears, those blocks, etc. And they want to have that new world like tomorrow. They want to be that new person that's completely full consciousness, fully awake, fully spiritual, etc. by tomorrow and know it all. It's not happening that way. You have to be patient with yourself. It's kind of like if we renovating a house and it's like a real old house that's missing doors and that's holes. The paint is scratched up. There's a lot of problem, broken windows. And we've been really working on this to make it nice again, okay? But it's not happening in one day. It's a whole process of every day and you have to be patient okay so right now we are the house and a lot of work is being done on us but we have to be patient because again um, a lot of, of work has been done the, the the holes the blocks the problems have been repaired or is finishing being repaired for a lot of us um, and then we can put the fresh paint and then we can start moving in the furniture and then we can start decorating and then, you know, you have the cable and the TV and the vase with the flowers, etc., etc., the pillows and the light and the curtains, but it needs to go step by step, okay? You have to be patient. It's not going to happen, boom, just like that, and up, it's all done. So it's very important. They're also showing it's like drop of water, and we're adding a little bit of drop of water every day. Okay, so this is all those energies that are coming to us little by little, little by little, and we have to be understanding with that and very patient with ourselves because we are the house and we have to understand that cannot be done in one day. We have to be patient and move one day at a time, little by little, little by little. Um, be careful also not to go back to all patterns and all behavior just because that's something you know or something you're used to, uh, because a lot of time that's the easy way out and a lot of people are falling right back into that. You have to really have discipline, that's why I hear. You have to be patient with yourself and really have that, um, that positive energy and, and really have that discipline that's what they're showing me and, and have that strength um, to keep moving forward and keep pushing forward okay even if that's the unknown even if I'm not used to those new positive behavior and maybe it feels more safe to go back into those negative behavior I have done for all my life no you know it's it's okay you have to say no 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 it's okay I'm moving forward I'm growing I'm gonna go toward you know the peaceful energy the calm energy even if it's unknown to me and it could feel scary but I'm going in the right direction and I keep moving forward I push myself forward it's very very important to have that discipline every day keep moving forward every day like that because it's not gonna feel easy it's gonna feel very unknown and so the body and the mind is going to want to go back to the old okay but you have to let it go so you can actually move forward and have that new life you dream of Yeah, the same thing with ego is saying the same thing with ego when your ego is really pushing at the door and it's really freaking out because it's scared because it's trying to protect you of something. For example, instead of being mad at it, mad at yourself, just say, okay, I understand. I understand you're trying to protect me from this, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay. And, and then send love and then move forward. You just have to reassure yourself like that as well. Uh, that's going to be very important for a lot of people in their evolution. Let me see what else. Okay, I think that's it. Um, I think that's it. Uh, I'm not hearing anything right now. Uh, but yeah, so just just be patient with yourself. Like we said, it's going to be very, very, very difficult energies that we're still going through. But this is very positive for us to grow. So use it for yourself to grow and move forward. Uh, keep faith and also just remember to be patient with yourself. That is extremely important. 
So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Uh, if it is, please don't forget to share it with your friends, family, people that can really use that to help them grow as well. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And enjoy your Sunday and then next week. And I will see you uh, next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.